a table base with Softer to take advantage of the dynamic blocks. Let's start by adding a dynamic block. We're going to use the list block and we can select any of the list block options here. Once the list block has been added to the studio, all we need to do is select the block itself and now we need to connect to Airtable. Setting up Airtable is super simple. All we need to do is get the Airtable API key. To get the API key, we just need to navigate to our account. As you'll notice, in the My Account settings of your Airtable account, you'll have an API key. If you haven't generated one, all you need to do is generate one and click Copy. Once you've copied it to your clipboard, navigate back to the software studio and simply paste in the API key. Once it's been pasted in, all we need to do is select the Connect to Airtable button. And it's as simple as that. Now you're connected your Airtable base to software and you can pull in any of your bases and then any of the tables within that base.